Am I the astronaut for not inviting my friend to Disney because she cannot drive? I want to go to Disney, so I have planned to go down for a week. It's about a 10-hour drive, and it is already really expensive, so I decided the best option was to drive down instead of fly. I invited two of my friends to join me, so there would be three people in the car. The plan is to leave around 3 a.m., and we will get to the hotel in time to check in. Then spend the first day at Disney Springs. Due to it being a 10-hour drive, we are all going to drive three and a half hours, so everyone has time to rest and take a nap in the back. We all agreed that everyone needs to drive. I have a friend I have known for a long time, and I mentioned the trip. She asked who I was going with, and I told her. It was our mutual friend and then someone she wasn't close to. She then asked why I didn't invite her. I gave a polite answer that this was just planned for us to get closer. She kept pushing and asked seriously why she wasn't invited. I told her since she could not drive. We were driving down, and we all agreed having someone not driving wouldn't work. The road trip needs people to pull their weight and not just sit in the car. She got offended, and I asked what did she expect when she asked about why she wasn't invited. This resulted in an argument, and she called me a jerk. The reason why she doesn't drive is because she's afraid of it. She hasn't renewed her license since she got in years ago. Since she got in years ago? I think there, maybe it was an accident or something. There's a reason. Edit! I have not been invited to stuff she does with people I know either. She went on a trip last fall with two people I knew and I wasn't invited. That's completely fine. I don't need to be invited to everything. Seriously, I don't have to invite everyone to everything. None of my other friends ask why they aren't invited. They told me to have fun. Okay, so the question on this first story is, am I the astronaut for not inviting my friend to Disney because she cannot drive? Uh, I mean, I, I understand the logic behind it. I think there was a different way to approach this. And uh, I mean, you just didn't want her there. It sounds like. And, and if that's the case, just say, you know, you this, this wasn't for you. Now, you did give the reasoning that it was just for you three to get closer. And that's and that's fine. Um, you gave the answer also. So for the friend here, don't ask questions that you don't want to know the answer to. Right. She pushed and pushed and pushed. And you finally said it's because you don't drive. And she's like, well, that's bullshit. Well, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. The flip side of that is for you, OP, if you wanted to give this, this friend the opportunity to drive or to not drive, but to go and not driving was the only reason that excluded her. Uh, how about you pitch instead of her driving? She pays an extra portion of gas money. She does something else to make up for not carrying her weight and the driving portion of it, but makes it up somewhere else, right? I think there is a solution that could have been made there. It all comes down to you didn't invite her. You didn't include her in this, and that's fine. Not everybody gets invited to everything. Like you explained at the end, she has friends go to things that aren't that you aren't invited to, and you don't throw a fit about that either. So, uh, But she kept pushing and pushing and pushing, and she got uh, got an answer, and it wasn't what she liked, but but it's the answer. I mean, she she could have come back here and said, instead of being pissy about it, uh, she could have come back here and said, well, how about instead of driving, I could pay for extra gas money or I could do this or I could do this. She didn't she didn't do that either. She just wanted to be piss about it. Piss about it. Is that what I said? She just wanted to be pissed about it. So uh, she just wanted something that was ammo to to be hurt by. And that's not right either. Uh, she could have paid for gas, food, snacks. Amanda, yeah, I agreed. However, um, <clears throat> She just she wasn't invited in the plan. She invited two of her friends to join her. OP did. So there'd be three people in the car. Um, I mean, is there an obligation to invite every friend that OP has? Does she have to invite everybody that she knows? And if that's the case, does this friend have to invite everybody she knows to everything she goes to as well? I don't think that's that's a reasonable expectation. Um, Mother Trucker says, I don't keep friends that get possessive and jealous of my other friends. Maybe that's it. Maybe it is a jealousy thing, but she does stuff without without OP. So where's the reciprocation here? Where's the line? Where is it? OK, I don't understand. Just because someone wants to invite themselves doesn't make the person who says no. The asshole agreed, Gina. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to now. Not invited. So the question here is, am I the ask kind of for not inviting my friend to Disney because she cannot drive? No. I mean, there's different ways to go about it, but but you're not the asshole for not inviting them. I think what really it comes down to here is, are you the asshole for telling your friend that she wasn't invited because she can't drive after she pushed and pushed and pushed for an answer? That is a different scenario. She pushed. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. You tried to be nice about it and say that it was just for you three to get closer. And again, the friend here has things that you aren't invited to either, OP. So what's the big deal? If you wanted her there, you could have found a way for her to get there. And if she really wanted to go, she could have pitched an alternative, like I said, and, and found a solution here and said, I I could go if I do this X, Y, or Z, but she didn't want that. She just wanted to be mad about it. So NTA, 
N-T-A.